A human soldier is sent from 2029 to 1984 to stop an almost indestructible cyber killing machine sent from the same year, which has been programmed to execute a young woman whose unborn son is the key to humanity's future salvation. Hello everyone and welcome to another movie review and it's on the movie The Terminator. This movie came out in 1984. It has eight wins, another six nominations. Uh, the writers are James Cameron, Gail Ann Hord, and William Whistle. James Cameron is also the director of the movie. We'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, the top cast is Arnold Schwarzenegger, Linda Hamilton, Michael Bean, Paul Winfield, Lance Henriksen. I had no idea he was in this until I saw his name on the list. I was like, really, that was him? Lance Henriksen? Uh, Rick Wozovich, Beast Mota, Old Bowen, Dick Miller, Sean Sheps, Bruce M. Cornell, Franco Colombo, Bill Paxton, I did not know it was in this as well, Brad Wilden, Brian Thompson, William Whistle, Ken Fritz, and Tom Oberholtz. Yeah, um, even though he wasn't in there for all that long, Bill Paxton was there apparently. Yeah. Okay, uh, yeah, Lance Henriksen, I had no idea he was in this movie. Yeah, uh, he had a bit of a big wall, somewhat of a big wall. He, uh, I remember him from the Alien movies. That's why I was like, really? He's in this? Sweet. An an another actor that's great, a great actor. Um, so, yeah. Um, my thoughts on this movie. What do I think about this movie? Well, you all know my thoughts about the second one. But right now, I'm not supposed to compare because this is the first. I compared the first to the second one when I did the second one. <laughs> yeah, this might be confusing to some people. If you haven't seen my review of the second one, which is already done, you can find it on my YouTube page. Oh wait, but right now we're talking about the first one, the, which was originally called as The Terminator. Now people just call it Terminator. Um, what do I think about this movie? To me personally, it's nothing great, but it's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Uh, to me personally, it's a very good start to the series, to the franchise. And, um, the acting would have to be the best part of this movie. Great cast or wall. Uh, with, uh, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, he's normally not that great of an actor. He's not. Yeah, he's normally a, a bad actor. But in this mo in the Terminator movies, at least the first two, if not three, the first three, he was actually, he was actually, uh, surprisingly, amazingly good. Why? Because his acting is like a robot. What does he do in this movie? He has to play a robot. Main reason why he was great in these movie in the Terminator movies. Uh, and the uh, reason why he doesn't do, he didn't really win uh, all that great overall with other movies. Uh, but we're not talking about those, we're talking about this. Uh, so to me personally, in this movie, because of that aspect, he's actually great. Great at, great at it. Um... The graphics for its time and type, 1984, I would have to say is probably um, some of the best graphics for its time. Yeah, maybe even like uh, ahead of its time. No, no. 
No, I would not say that. Now that I'm thinking about it, no. Because the Star Wars, the first three, the first two Star Wars movies came out before this. And they had better graphics. Yeah. So, this being the best, the, gra the best graphics for its time? Probably not, no. But it, it was better than most. It was better than most. Let's put it that way. Uh, of its t of its type. Uh, action movie. Yeah. So. Um, I would have to say the, the graphics were actually uh, very good. Maybe close to top notch, but not exactly top notch. There you go. Uh, for its time. Uh, the action aspect is actually very well done. I very well choreographed for the action scenes. I think they were they were awesome. They were great. Uh, now to the low aspect of this movie. The storyline. The plot. Oh God, the plot. The plot is not that great. It's decent. Decent at best, if you will. But it was written very well and then it was and it was terminated very well because it was written very well. And this is why I give James Cameron kudos for that. James Cameron and the other two writers for it. Gail Ann Hold and William Whistle. I give them kudos. For um, for the widening aspect of the plot, but the plot itself is not that great. Yeah. Um, overall, what would I say? Is this a great movie? Is this a good movie? Is this a bad movie? Like I said before, it's not a bad movie, but at the same time, it's not a great great movie. That to me, personally, it's not an award-winning movie. It's not. But it is a very good movie. It is a very good start to the franchise. The second took it... Took it to another level. Uh, to a much higher level, I should say. Um, but this one... IMDb, IMDB, with all the users combined, gives this movie an 8 out of 10. I disagree with that. I I don't agree with that rating. Um, to me personally, it should be a step lower. A step lower in the rating. So I'm giving this a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. It's a bit, like I said, it's a very good start, but it's nothing great. It's nothing bad. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this, and if you love this movie or didn't love this movie, you can let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think, what your thoughts are. I always love your comments, whether you love the movie or hate it. You can like this video if you like this review, and you can subscribe to my channel if you love my content. So thank you all for taking time to watch, and join me next time for another movie review I tend to do soon. I am out.